Hi, this is Gary from 3Bug Media, and today we're going to talk about purchase funnels and how to create one for your business when it comes to online marketing. Now, first off, what is a purchase funnel? Well, the term purchase funnel can be used interchangeably with other terms you might have heard like marketing funnel, sales funnel, customer funnels, things like that. And in simple terms, all it means is how you take a potential customer and what are, what are the steps and the processes you have for your business that take them from a, you know, a cold visitor to a customer for your business. Now, most purchase funnels follow the traditional ADA formula, which you may have gone through if you went to marketing school or went to business school, things like that. And basically ADA means A-I-D-A, attention, interest, desire, and action. So you wanna catch their attention, you want to get them interested, you want to create desire for your product or service, and finally you want to get your prospect to take action. So how does that translate to online marketing? Well, I'll give you some examples. When it comes to attention, the first thing you want to do is catch their attention. So how do you do that? Well, when it comes to online marketing, you have SEO, optimizing your pages so they get found in the search engines when people do a search for something that you sell or offer. Uh, blogging, creating blog content around different questions and search queries that people normally ask around your product, and also some direct paid advertising where you go out and find those people and bring them back to your website. So all these are gonna bring people back to your website. You caught their attention, you have them on your website, so what's next? What's the next step? You brought them to your, you brought them to your website, they looked at whatever you wanted them to look at. So the next step is trying to get their interest. So you know, an example for that would be creating a lead magnet for your business where you give something of value away to the visitor to your website in exchange for information. So it solves a problem for them and has a lot of value for them and it's free. So they sign up to give you their email or maybe your name and email or name, email and phone number or something like that and you give them some free information. You know, maybe that could be a free course or something like that. Maybe you offer them a, a mini course, you know, to learn to learn about whatever topic it is that, you know, your industry is in. That generates more interest. You get some information from them. You generated more interest, you know, uh, now that they're on your site. And the next step is you want to start to create desire for this potential customer. So you got them to your site. You got them interested. Now you got to start to really work on them to turn them, get them excited about what you have to offer. So we call that lead nurturing. You know, lead nurturing can be through uh, drip marketing, which is like email marketing, where you get their email address in the lead, with the lead magnet, and over the course of a week or two weeks or a month, you send them a series of information-based emails that demonstrate the value you can, you know, you can give them as a, you know, as a provider, you know, for them. So. Email marketing, you wanna solve their problems, maybe introduce some case studies to them, show them examples of how you've solved problems for you know, people or businesses similar to theirs. And all of these things will start to create some desire as you run this lead nurturing program for them because you're constantly demonstrating your value to them. And they're starting to see that you know, you're an authority, you know what you're doing, you solve problems for people like, you know, for people or businesses like them and now they're starting to think well this you know this person or this company may be the answer to what what we're looking for and finally you're going to bring them down to action now action is when you you're you're basically going to ask them to take the next step so you're going to give them their call to action you're going to give them your offer so you know maybe part of your lead nurturing program where you're going to say hey why don't you you know we can do a free consultation or why don't you give us a call and you know we can talk about this or you can come into our office you know we can sit down and discuss or you know if you're selling stuff online or you're a retail store hey come into our store we have a discount here's a coupon for 20 percent off come down you know what i mean so this part of it is to finally get them to take the next step which is to either you know do a consult buy a product sign up for something, whatever it is that you want them to do. So this is the basic purchase funnel. We're gonna take them from attention to interest, to desire, to action. And these are kind of some examples of how you can do that online when it comes to online marketing. So I hope this gave you, you know, 
shed some insight on what a purchase funnel is. Like I said, it's similar to you know marketing funnel, sales funnel, customer funnel. They're all kind of interchangeable on there. But hopefully it just gives you some ideas of how you can create a purchase funnel for your business and for your website. So if you have any questions, you can go to threebugmedia.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.